Ooh. What's this? Hey, Moby. I found a letter. You want to read it? <clears throat> Ready? Dear Shayla and Moby, do you have mummies in Minecraft? Happy face from Jorge. That's right, Moby. There are no mummies in Minecraft. That's true. The Egyptians mummified their dead. But I think some of the most interesting mummies were the mummies of the ancient Incan rulers. The Incans were an ancient civilization who reached the height of their power in the 15th century. There were over 12 million subjects of the Sapa Inca, which is the name for the ruler of the empire. Their empire stretched over what is now Peru and a few other countries surrounding it. The Sapa Inca was thought to be the son of the sun god, like shining sun, like that sun right up there. Because he was the son of a god, pe they, people thought he could never die. Sure, there was a point in every South Inca's life where his body stopped working. But why should a little thing like that stop him from being alive? He could be mummified so they could preserve his body and he could continue to rule with his mummified body. You want to know how they mummified the Sapa Incas? Okay, so right after the Sapa Incas funeral, why would you have a funeral when he wasn't dead, you ask? My guess is that he was still it was still sad that the Sapa Incas body stopped working. Anyway, first they need to, to embalm him, which me meaning they need to dry out the body and all the body's fluids need to be removed. There were two different ways to embalm the Sapa Inca. They would either cover him with salt, and that would dry him out, or they could take the body to the top, to the very top of, of the mountains, where the air is really dry and cold. So the body would dry up. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> the, either way, the process will take about a few months. Once the body is all dried out, they would either take him back to this. They would, they would take him back to the city and continue his, his mummification. Where are you going, Moby? Oh. Yeah, don't be silly, Moby. Oh. Next, the. The dry body is wrapped in a thick cloth, forcing the legs drawn up and the arms crossed over his chest. Doing this makes it much easier to balance the body on the throne. In every layer of the cloth, there were offerings to the gods. On top of the clothes were his royal robes. <laughs> Inca was still considered alive, he'd still have to work, work for the empire. Of course, he can't do it alone. His most important servants were ceremonially, well, strangled. <laughs> I know, I know, Moby, it's, it's kind of scary. But some people actually volunteered to work for the deceased. Well, not deceased, I guess, in what they thought was not deceased. Sapa Inca. The mummified Sapa Inca is paraded through Cusco, which was a city in the Incan Empire. I think it was the capital city, in fact. But I could be wrong. Um, all through, so anyway, he was paraded, and there were a bunch of parades for him all throughout the year. It was grand. After that first exciting year of being dead, he's returned to his palace, along with his dead servants. He was treated like a king. 
He was served food, washed regularly, and lived in his grand um, palace. The food he was served, because he didn't eat it, I mean, it would be scary if he ate it, <laughs> was burned as an offering to the gods. Well, there you have it. That's all I know about the Incans. Wee! Throwing snowballs. Hey! <laughs>